the last couple years, really the last two and a half years, we've really had a lot of reasons to celebrate at C-SPAN with the becoming the National Ship um, Shipbuilding Procurement Strategy non-combat shipbuilder for the future of Canada was a, was a very uh, exciting time here, certainly, and it's an exciting time for the, re for the region. But today, I think, is going to be one of our favorite days thus far. It's going to be a lot of fun for us, because naming this crane is a very significant event. It's, it's a big symbol for us. It's 86 meters tall, 76 meters wide, and we'll be able to lift 300 tons right here. It was shipped over in uh, three main components from China. Uh, it arrived in uh, late February, and the process uh, involved getting the uh, pieces put together, uh, the major pieces put together, getting the legs vertical first, and then stayed uh, so that it was stable and we could uh, lift the very large uh, main beam up uh, with a 540-ton uh, lift, and we had to bring in a massive crane. Uh, to do that, a 1,600-ton crane that uh, that came here from Russia, with uh, and it was quite the sight. It was a very exciting time for us, for sure. It is the largest gantry crane in Canada. It'll be used to lift the blocks that we put in place that form the ship. So it has to be this tall so that it can clear. Some of the ships we're going to build under this crane are quite tall, and so the blocks need to get lifted up there, and this crane is just the right size for us. There's a lot of electrical work, mechanical work, and a lot of safety systems that go into uh, getting this crane fully operational. So we're in the process of doing that, and uh, it's going quite well, and it should be complete in August. We built five new buildings. Uh, the last one is about 50% complete. That'll finish in October. We'll finish paving the shipyard. We'll get the crane and all the equipment in the last remaining building operational. And then our, uh, and our shipyard modernization, modernization is complete, and that'll be in October of this year, so, which is also when we start building the first of the vessels under the National Shipbuilding Procurement Strategy. We had 228 fantastic uh, suggested names, and uh, we, a select group of employees, uh, uh, came up with the short list, and then our uh, our uh, entire workforce voted on the name. And uh, and it just so happens that uh, the name was submitted by uh, one of our employees' daughters. So a very special time for for him and us. <laughs> Your name's gonna be on that forever. <laughs> <laughs>